Hello and welcome to Whitham United Reformed Church's family service. My name is Viv. We're going to be looking at who God is over the next few weeks using the material from Urban Saints' Energize. So let's have a look at what we're going to be exploring today. Have a look at the things on my table. What do you think it tells us what God might be about? If you guessed love, you would be right. Who loves you? How do you know that they love you? What kinds of things does that person do to show you that they love you? How much does God love you? What kinds of things does he do to show us how much he loves us? So join us in the next section to explore a story in the Bible which tells us about God's love and how much he loves us. Do you know the story of Jonah? It's really quite famous. It involves a whale, a man called Jonah, and a city called Nineveh. Here's a quick recap. we're looking at today isn't the famous one. It's about what happened after Jonah arrived in Nineveh. So join me in the next section as we explore the story together. So let's see what's in the box today. Are you ready to count down with me? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's see. We're going to start with what looks like a piece of land. Oh. Something is starting to take shape here. I wonder what this could be. Do you think it might be? A man called Jonah had been asked by God to go to a city called Nineveh and to tell the people there that they had to repent. Repenting is quite a big word but all it means is to say that you're sorry to God for doing all the things that are wrong and that you're going to try very, very hard. You're going to try your best not to do them anymore. So Jonah was going to go to Nineveh and he told the people there that they had to repent. They had to say sorry to God for doing the things that didn't please God. The people of Nineveh were quite good at doing wrong things and they did a lot of things that God didn't like. God had asked Jonah to warn the people that if they didn't say sorry, he would send a fire throughout the city which would destroy Nineveh. When Jonah had performed the task that God had told him to do, he went and sat on the edge of the city and he waited to watch God destroy the city. Jonah did not like the people who lived in Nineveh and he wanted them to suffer. But the people of Nineveh listened to God. And they listened to Jonah. And 
they were busy repenting. They were busy saying so sorry to God for all the things that they had done that did not please God. They wanted to be close to God again. And they were praying for God to save them. Jonah was furious when he realised that the people were repenting. Maybe God wouldn't punish them at all. <sighs> he grumbled to God. Look, that's why I didn't want to do this job in the first place. I knew that you are loving and you don't like to punish people if you can get them to repent any other way. <sighs> now let me die. I'm fed up. It was very hot. And God felt sorry for Jonah sitting in the hot sun. So he created a plant. To grow up and to give Jonah some shade. Jonah was grateful for the plant and he curled up under it and went to sleep. In the morning, Jonah was very disappointed to see that the city of Nineveh was still all in one piece. But he hoped that God would change his mind about destroying Nineveh, so he waited again. Then God provided a worm. The worm ate the plant and the plant died. Jonah was very, very angry with the worm and with God. He had loved the plant and was sad to see it die, especially as it now was so very hot because God had made the east wind blow. But God said to Jonah, why are you so upset? You didn't make the plant. I did. Then I destroyed it. You did nothing to help it just grow. You just enjoyed it. And yet you're sorry that it has died. Think, Jonah, you loved the plant. Now think about how I feel about the people of Nineveh. I made them. I love them. I don't want to destroy them. That is why I sent you to ask them to say sorry. I love the people of Nineveh, even though they do so much wrong, more than you love the plant. Now, do you understand why I'm glad that I don't have to destroy them? I wonder which part of the story you liked the best. I wonder which part of the story is the most important. I wonder if there is a part of the story we could leave out and still have all the story we need. I wonder which part of the story is most about you. God is all about love. That's his nature. He loves us as his creation and he gives us the ability to love others and to love him. So let's pray together. Father God, we thank you that you are all about love and that you love us. Help us to love others like you do. Keep us safe. In Jesus' name. Amen. See you soon. Bye.